Today I'm going to show you guys how to replace the power supply in your Sobel SV06 using our Meanwell 350 watt 24 volt power supply and the custom cover we made to fit these power supplies and these printers. So let's get to it. So if you have the Sobel SV06, you'll notice that it's a really good bang for the buck. Me personally, my number one gripe with it, other than the clone processor on the main board, is that they use these off-brand power supplies. While these do work and they're fine to get started, I've had many issues with these going up in smoke because of inferior quality components or just poor QC in general. When we did the review video for this, our power supply to the chassis of the printer had over six ohms of resistance, which is actually a safety hazard. The reason you want to have low ohms of resistance on the ground is so that if there is an event where the power is going where it shouldn't be, it finds that path to ground instead of through your body while you're touching the printer frame. Now, meanwhile, power supplies are a very reputable power supply company, and they're the only power supply brand I trust on my printers. So today we're going to go and replace the Chengling power supply with the 350 watt 24 volt power supply that we carry from Meanwell. In addition to that, we have a custom cover we designed that specifically fits the SV06 as well as some other printers, and you can get those all on our website with the links in the description below. So without further ado, I'll run you guys through how to quickly change out this power supply. It's actually a really quick upgrade. So the first step to replacing the power supply in your SV06 is make sure it's unplugged from the wall. And then we're gonna take these two screws out here on the front. Now turn the printer around. Disconnect the XT60. Now we need to take the receptacle and the XT60 plug out of the factory power supply assembly. Go ahead and remove the four screws from the stock housing. And once those are out, the cover will come off. Go ahead and pull the XT60 through the bottom. We're going to disconnect it from the stock power supply. The next thing to check is which color goes to line, neutral, and ground. We need to match this on the new power supply. So on my particular assembly, they're using red for line, black for neutral, and the yellow for ground. So let's go ahead and take these off. Last thing we need to do is take these two screws out to get this receptacle out of the housing. Now to put the new one together, we'll need the receptacle from the old one, the two screws that hold the receptacle in, the XT60 plug, and two of the four bolts we took out of the stock assembly. Now we have our new cover, which you can see here, and our new power supply. Let's go ahead and connect the XT60 to the new power supply. Our red wire is gonna go to the V plus, our black wire will go to the V minus. Now we're going to go ahead and put the AC receptacle into the new housing. Slide the wires through. Then use the screws we took from the old housing and put it into the new one. And you do want to tighten these up, but don't over tighten them because this is just biting into plastic. There we go. This is how your assembly should look at this point. We're going to need to connect these wires to the power supply, and then we're going to put the new power supply into here. So if you remember, we have line is red, neutral is black, and then ground is the yellow. So let's go ahead and connect these to the line, neutral, and ground on the new power supply. Go ahead and take the XT60 and push it through the bottom opening on the new housing. And then we're gonna slide the power supply into the housing. And we wanna make sure these two holes on the back here line up. And then go ahead and put the two screws that we took from the old one into the new one. 
Now, if you see your housing doing this, you wanna make sure that you're actually going into the threads of the metal here. And you see it's biting now. We're just gonna keep screwing that in. And now this is flush. And we're gonna install the second one. So now we have our new assembled power supply assembly. All we need to do is put this back on the printer and reconnect the XT60. Before we do that, I would recommend you make sure your voltage switch is set to the correct voltage. Most power supplies will come with the switch already set to the 230 volt section. If you are in the US like I am or in Canada, go ahead and switch that to 115. If you don't switch this over, the power supply is not gonna work correctly. So you can see here, I have the two screws already in the extrusion. We're gonna go ahead and mount the power supply up with these two screws. And then we're gonna go ahead and reconnect the XT60. I like to take the extra wire that's sticking out of the bottom here and push it back up into the hole. And now we're done with the upgrade. At this point, if you've made sure the voltage switch is set on the back properly, you can go ahead and plug your printer in and start using it again. And just like that, we now have a meanwhile on our SV06. So one other thing I wanna show you guys, the stock power supply before we change this out read over six ohms of resistance. And you can look at our review video we did on this printer. So I'm gonna to go to the screw right here like I did in the original video and the ground and see what we're reading now. I'd say that's pretty dang good. So that's all there is to do on the upgrade. This is something I do to every single one of my printers that does not have a meanwhile power supply just because I don't want to run the risk of the power supply going out and at worst causing a potential fire or filling my room with smoke if they do go up in flames. The other thing is when power supplies die, they tend to take other things with them, especially on the cheaper side. I've actually had printers where I used to use the cheaper power supplies on and when they die, they surge everything else. So that means instead of just replacing a power supply that failed, I had to replace a main board an LCD and possibly other components that get damaged when the surge goes through the rest of the parts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a very quick and easy upgrade. It's also relatively inexpensive and still given the fact that the power supply of this printer is not the greatest, it's still what I think is a very good buy for what you get in terms of feature set. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm making your SVO6 even better than it already is. And as always, happy printing.